Diego, let's go. We gotta start the tour. We gotta get going. Oh. You bring the camera down. I got, people like it when I do these tours raw. Do not drop it. Oh my God. Ow. Okay, you gotta see this. <laughs> Seven thousand square feet, penthouse, echo brickle, indoor aquatic center. This pool, this penthouse is crazy. I cannot wait to show it to you. Let's go. Welcome to Miami. This is eleven thousand square feet, the pinnacle penthouse, duplex at the top of Echo Brickle, one of the greatest buildings in Miami. It's listed by my friend Dina Golden Dare. It's like you got to get me in, and she's like, but the owners are there, and I'm like, tell them to get out. And so here we are because this place has some things that we've never shown before on YouTube and I want you all to see it because I know you like to see things that you've never seen before. So make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and let's do this. First thing I noticed when you walk in is this apartment is all about the wow. You've got all the water here. You've got massive views that are 360 degrees around. You've got five bedrooms, seven and a half bathrooms, 11,068 square feet. That is a big, big interior space, but this is the moment that makes it for me. This wow moment, the sculptural glass tinted staircase, the moment you walk in, the way the lighting is done. You know what's cool about the track lighting in penthouses like this? They kind of talk to the linear diffusers. So we've never actually talked about this before, but you see that whole black line underneath all those speakers? Those are called linear diffusers, and that's where the heating and cooling comes out. Instead of having grates like regular people, you have the linear diffuser, so it's just sleek, a super modern look, so that the air comes out and you don't even know where it's coming out. I don't think I've seen a living room like this in Miami, though. Like if you're gonna be in a condo and not in a house, and you are in Miami, like this is sick. This is awesome. Let's go to the kitchen. The kitchen is insane. It's the whole built-in dining area. And then it's a whole polyform kitchen. And you've got the hood that has the glass here. This is for smoke. This is code. Diego keeps trying to run away. He can't run away. He's got an ankle monitor. Induction stove top so you can touch it and never burn your hands. Super, super safe. Like the kitchen is huge. This is a real kitchen. In Miami, a lot of times you see like kitchens that are basically made for ordering out, right? Or just entertaining. Like this kitchen is actually used as a chef's kitchen. And if you look at the sink, look at this, like you've got, this is out of the same marble. So you don't see the drain. So all the water comes in, everything else goes underneath and it's cut perfectly to fit in. Really, really, really pretty. Down this hallway, we've got a powder room. Really, really pretty millwork. I just said we don't show powder rooms all the time, but you know I like a good hand for my history as a hand model. Imagine someone's hand is actually this big. You know what they say about big hands. Give me that camera back. You're big fired. gloves. You're big fired. gloves. Yeah, big gloves, okay. Back here, I think this is really pretty and kind of a cool spot. They've got the cloud couch, huge screen. And then if I can expose, you've got the view. There you go. So that's your view behind the screening room. Let's go. Let's actually go out to this terrace first. The sliding glass doors, beautiful stone, outdoor kitchen, full barbecue that's right off the main kitchen, so easy to prepare. Again, beautiful stone in this apartment. Like really, really, really well done. And this is the biggest apartment in the building because it is the only duplex penthouse. And then you've got your entire brickle view. That kind of, whoa. Like we are really, we're really hot right now. You wanna drop the camera down there and see if I can catch it, see what happens? Are you crazy? Big view wraps all the way around. Like this is Miami life. When you're up here, you know what you notice the most? Like all the pools. But you know what actually is an amazing pool? There is an indoor pool in this penthouse called the Sky Pool. It's like an indoor aquatic gym. It's off the gym. Let's go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You've got your indoor pool, jacuzzi. It's insane. Like who has this? Like you do. Like most of the time pools are outdoors, but to have an indoor pool, especially at penthouse level, the amount of waterproofing, the amount of protection that has to be wrapped around this entire space, 
for everybody else that's in the building is a huge expense for the developer when they were initially doing this. But I think it's a super, super sick amenity. Now, there's a lot of fitness equipment in this room. We've got a Hydro over here, which is awesome. Hugh Jackman, what's up with your Hydro? We've got a Peloton bike, big open views. Can you imagine like doing laps in your pool right here? Oh, actually this view is sick. Like this view, green wall with my pool and my double height ceilings leading out into my living room right there. Just like, I used to jump in pools a lot. Whoa! But I've matured since then because I'm the CEO of my own company now and it's gonna be a billion dollar company before you know it. If you're following the other vlogs, make sure you go watch them, please. Let's look at the gym. Look at this gym. Now this could be a different room. This could be a spa, this could be another office, this could be a bedroom. But this actually does the job really well. Dude, they got some weights in here. You got some like, look at these 50 pound dumbbells. Look at this. Dago, do you think you could curl this? Right, look. Do you think you can curl a 50 pounder? Okay, give it to me. I know. All right, let's see if you can do it. We hold your cameras all day. No, you can do it! You can do it! You can... Okay, unbelievable, unbelievable. Now before we go upstairs and see all the bedrooms, come see the office with me. Pretty awesome office. One, this screen is insane. That screensaver, you see that? Like with the trees and everything? Like looking out into the Amazon as you're trading and commanding the universe to have an office like this with this view is what it's all about. What's up, JP Morgan Chase? Thank you for sponsoring Sirhan so much. And then the staircase, which I know you saw at the beginning. I just love it. It makes my job in selling so much easier. And that way you can see the reflection of the zipper in my shoes all the way up. All right, up we go. So back up to where we started. This is where Diego, like a lunatic, threw his camera down. These views are insane. Like, wow. Down this hallway, we have our first two real secondary bedrooms. Both huge bedrooms, great views, both en suites. And then in this bedroom, you can really see the building starts to angle. You can see here, like the window line is here by my feet, which if it went straight up, would be right there at the window treatments but it's not because it basically starts to almost like cantilever off over brickle. You can kind of see it here how the building like goes like this. Actually look down, can you see that? How we're already like starting to cantilever out over the building. See like the wave without having to be set up out over a balcony by being inside with the way the building is curved. Like I am right now standing over the street and we're inside. In the bathroom too, you've got slabs on slabs on slabs of stone. Really, really pretty fixtures. And I love sinks like this. I love it with the wood, right? The wood on like the face, right? The wood with the lip all the way around. This is really, really pretty tile. Great fixtures and then the same thing, you've got the floating piece of stone that matches the countertops in here to hide the drainage. Really, really cool. And then at the other end of the hallway is the master. Now this room, the primary, sorry, might be my favorite because of how like comfortable it is. Look at this room. It's awesome. TV is huge. Oh my God. People don't realize how hard my life is. Like I have like 10 jobs, right? There are people who just YouTube and you know who they are. It's all they do. They just like make YouTube, it's like their whole, and they are stressed, anxious, busy all the time. I have like real job, not to say that YouTubing is not a real job. I'm just, we're just saying that sitting in this couch right now in these people's $40 million apartment is really, really nice. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Primary bedroom suite is insane. You've got your first walk-in closet and first bathroom. Nice and clean, nice and sexy, gorgeous, great, great, great finishes. Look at that shower head. You see that? Wow. And you know this place is perfect when, can we just show one thing? And the fact that it's like maybe hardly ever used when there's just one bar of soap right there. That's how you know that when you buy this apartment, you're buying a brand new apartment that's barely been lived in because the owners have one bar of soap. 
They come in here to keep everything super perfect underneath their like rain forest shower head. Thing is insane, completely crazy. Oh, that was a cool trick. Down the hallway, these are the polyform closets that we were talking about, where they build these kind of standalone glass boxes for your four white shirts so that you can still see the light and the views. This is actually a beautiful closet. Like, I love closets like this. This closet is like being in a store. And then this is the primary bathroom to end all primary bathrooms. Step up on slab stone, massive shower head, like we saw on the other, gorgeous soaking tub, jacuzzi jets galore. You've got the moss, you need the moss. And then you've got this floating vanity here. You know how hard this is to build compared to a standard bathroom where you keep all the risers for the faucets and you put them into the wall. And you can see it here, the facade is still tilted. So like if I'm leaning right now, oh my God, if this glass just gave way right now, it would be so bad for Diego mostly because you'd have to witness it and that would totally up forever. Not just the finishes and not just the 11,000 square feet, but because of like the difficulty it built, like the front facing vanity cabinets here, this is called vein matched, right? Now there's a big difference when you're looking at stone. This apartment makes me feel like I need to talk about stone a lot, but there's a big difference between book matched and vein matched. Book matched is where they'll take a single slab, they'll cut it in half, and then they'll open it up like a book. And so these veins match these veins. That's that butterfly thing that you'll see all the time. Like what people will use, they'll put it like on a, a feature wall in a shower. What I like the most, because that feels a little bit like meh, a little tacky sometimes, is vein matched. So it's single slab, not cut in half, and they match it all the way through all the seams. Like this, this is like a $100,000 vanity just in stone. And then you've got another room here that is just for cardio, which is insane. I'm walking backwards, could you tell? Could you not tell? I'm losing my mind in Miami, or I'm losing my mind in this apartment because it's not mine yet. Oh God. You've got impact windows, right, that are hurricane. You can't tell right here, but like the distance between the first pane of glass and outside pane of glass, it's like that thick. The whole building is hurricane resistant. So you could hit this thing with a monster storm. And then I just wanted to bring you out here to show you one of the last patios, beautifully furnished. Oh, you're hanging out over the balcony right now. That is freaky. Crazy. So that's it. That is the penthouse, the pinnacle penthouse at Echo Brickle in Miami, 11,068 square feet, five bedrooms, seven and a half bathrooms, indoor aquatic center, two indoor gyms, media room, everything. This place is just insane. I hope you guys love this tour. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, send this to all of your friends. Thank you to Dina for allowing us into this beautiful, beautiful penthouse. And I think we should end this. I think Diego's down there. Diego, are you down there? No? Okay, I'm gonna drop it. Just kidding, he's right there. I'm not kidding, he's right there. More importantly, okay. Sweet.